today I want to talk a little bit about passion and effort, right? So being passionate about something, but not putting in the effort rarely leads to results. Putting in a lot of effort into something you're not passionate about rarely leads to exponential results. Now for me personally, I read my first book on real estate called Creating Wealth by Robert Allen. This was during my second or third year of dental school. My father gave me the book and from there I was sprung. I was like, what an amazing way to build wealth. What an amazing way to build cash flow. All right, so but I was in dental school. I went ahead and finished my dental school training. I then I even went and specialized because I was geared by my dentist mentors. Like, hey, listen, if you're really trying to find a job that you get a high level of income, go and specialize. So I follow my mentors. I went and became an endodontist. I went to did a residency and then I went to New York University to do my postdoctoral training and become a prestige endodontist. Now the real estate was still in the back of my mind. That didn't go away. So as soon as I graduated dental school, I started saving up. Most of my peers, as soon as they graduate, they go either buy a car, they go buy a house, or they go buy something nice for themselves, which because they earned it, right? Delayed gratification. On my behalf, the first major purchase that I made, I graduated 2008, 2009, February, I bought my first investment property. Now I started to buy investment property year after year, one at a time each year for the first seven years. This allowed me to build a nice real estate portfolio. But, and there's always a but, I was working full time as an editor. And now by this time I had, I was married and two children. So the landscape of things had changed for me. So I had even less time to spend on real estate now, right? Because I'm a full time endodontist, I'm a full time father, full time family man, right? And I'm a real estate investor. But the thing is, I didn't have the time to really put my efforts into real estate because I had my time split between many different things. But if you really, really want to excel at something, if you really want to have exponential level of results, sometimes you got to make a sacrifice and you got to create time to put in the effort to pursue your passions. So I had modest successes real, at, as a real estate investor, as a full-time dentist, right? Modest meaning I made some good investments and I also made some bad investments. I also didn't have the time to go and do what a full-time real estate investor does. Go and maximize the profits of, out of every property. Go and find more investment properties. Go out and network with other real estate professionals. All of those things that at conferences, all of these things that I, somebody that really was passionate and had the time to pursue this would have had much more success than I did. And you gotta understand, working six days a week as an endodontist, right? Taking care of your family, doing all of these things, a lot of the other stuff gets put on a back burner. And that happens to so many people and that is an absolute tragedy. Right? You put your dreams, you put your passions, you put everything that you viscerally inside of you wants to go for. Like human nature, most of us are goal oriented and we become happier, we become content when we're working towards something. Now even though I was making a great amount of money, I was a prestige person in the community as an endodontist, I knew that, that something was missing, right? I wasn't working towards my true potential. I wasn't working towards what my actual superpower, what I'm great at doing, which is real estate, I love it. I was held back by the golden handcuffs of being a high income earning dentist. I made close to a million dollars a year as an associate endodontist. I'm sorry, dentists, when they get that cash flow from the job, it's almost like a drug. We need more, let's work more. I work instead of five days a week, I'm gonna work six days a week. And what ends up happening is you sacrifice everything else. You sacrifice everything else. You sacrifice your families, time with your family. You sacrifice time with your friends. You sacrifice time for developing yourself. You sacrifice time for working on your mental and physical health. And most importantly, you don't have the time to pursue your passions.
And what happens is the inside of you starts to die. That's what started to happen to me, right? 2019, something happened in my life that changed the trajectory of everything, right? 2019, I made the decision that I'm gonna now pursue my passion. So what did I do? I had enough real estate now that I'm like, listen, I'm gonna take a chance here and I'm going to cut back my clinical hours by 50%. I don't want to quit altogether because I still do like dentistry. I do like the idea of living a life of servitude, serving my patients. But I also want to pursue my passions. So now all of a sudden I had time freed up and that's when things exploded for me. That's when success became droves, right? Success begets more success and I started to gain momentum. So 2019 I made this decision. And I formed a company called Walk of Wealth, which is an investment firm that invests in multifamily real estate and helps our investors develop financial freedom through passive investment. But by having the time to hyper-focus efforts into my passions, remember what I said, passion plus effort equals magical success. So now all of a sudden I had the time to put in the effort and I have clearly defined passion of mine, right? And great success came. In the last four years, that's what's allowed us to invest in 580 apartment buildings at over $114 million of real estate. That was the incredible impact of passion plus effort. Previous to that, I had in the last 10 years before that, I had done only a fraction of that amount of investing. When I was able to combine passion plus effort, P plus E equals magic, equals success. So what I'm trying to tell you is number one, identify what your passion is. Number two, make the changes in your life. I'm not saying quit your job unless you can and take monster steps, 10x effort towards those passions and the results will follow. Don't worry about too much about exactly how you're gonna do it. The key is to identify your passions and free up the time so that you can put full effort towards it. Hope this helps somebody. If this video even helps one person change the trajectory of their life, I've done what I wanted to do with this entire channel. If you're interested in learning more about what we do on the investment side, check the show notes down below. Our website is there. We'd love to hear more from you. If you're interested in more personal development and wealth building tactics that'll put you on the walk to wealth, click on the next video down below. Let's go guys.